I want my students to know that I'm one of them. You know, I'm an immigrant. I came to this country when I was very young um, with my parents because my parents were in search of a better life, just like you. My students came to this country in search for a better life and they wanted their children to have a better future. And I hope that I can inspire my students to do greater and better things. My name is Erica Haurigi. I am an adult ESL teacher for Fontana Adult School. I have a master's in TESOL from Azusa Pacific University. And TESOL is actually teaching English to speakers of other languages. What really inspired me to become a teacher was my parents. You know, I saw how my parents struggled for not speaking the language. I saw how they were discriminated against, and not just my parents, everybody, anybody who doesn't speak the language. I see how they're discriminated against, and I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to make a difference in the community, and I knew that the only way that I can make a difference is by becoming a teacher. For those of you who are, are thinking about going back to school, whether it's for getting your GED or a, some type of short career, or even taking ESL classes, I guarantee you that if you come to Fontana Adult School, you will not regret it. We have great teachers and staff that are willing to help you. And you know, we only want the best for you. You will not make a mistake. And anything that has to do with education, you know, that's the one thing that cannot be taken away from you. That's the one thing that you can do, and it's only gonna make you better and a better person. And it's gonna open so many doors for you that I guarantee that if you come to Fontana Adult School, once you graduate or once you're done with the course, your life will never be the same. <laughs> the best part of my job is everything. I love being a teacher. I love being in front of a classroom. I love having, uh, building relationships with my students. I love being able to see them reach their goals. I had a student last semester who said that her goal was to uh, be able to have a 10 minute conversation in English and be understood. And we actually had a 15 minute conversation in English and I understood everything she said. And at the end I told her, hey, did you realize that we, we we've been talking for 15 minutes in English and I understood everything you said. And then just like the way that her eyes lit up and how she smiled and that just makes, that just warms my heart. I have some students who also tell me that they've had bad experiences in the, in the past and they lost confidence and I love being able to talk to them and just build their confidence because I feel like we all need our confidence to be lifted sometimes, right? So I tell them in this classroom, we only say positive things. We only talk about positive things and there's only positive energy that, that flows around through here. I love being able to boost their self-esteem. They tell me, oh, I went to the grocery store and I'm not scared of speaking English anymore. I, I actually feel more confident. And I love hearing those kinds of things from my students. I love to be able to inspire them because they don't realize it, but I learn from them more than the, what I think I teach them. They teach me so many different things and they inspire me to be a better person. And I'm grateful that they take the time to be with me, especially right now during distance learning. They could be anywhere else. They could be cleaning their house, all these interruptions, but they choose to be with me. And I am so thankful that they choose to spend that time with me. If you don't speak any English and you want to learn English, I suggest that you come to Fontana Adult School. You know, we have beginning classes. We have great teachers that are willing to sit there and help you. We have tutors uh, that come in and will translate if you don't understand the words. Don't be discouraged. At the beginning, you may not understand anything, but you're gonna see pictures, you're gonna see the words, you're gonna have your classmates that are gonna be there to support you and help you as well. And you're going to eventually going to understand it. You just have to surround yourself with the English language in order to be able to learn it.